gadolinium is hit with 400 nanometer light. Electrons are emitted with velocity 2.65. Ten to the fifth meters per second. And the question is to find the work function. Okay, well, let's so work that out step by step. First, you would find the energy of 400 nanometer light. Right. So we've got. We would find the h new, right? 400 nanometer light. Yeah, and we want to know how much uh, energy this has. That's right, so let's work that out. How would we do that? So that would be um, H, so 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules per second, or times seconds, whatever. And then, um, we have to convert. And we have to convert. Right, so it would be <coughs> times. Um, Divide by what time? C over the wavelength. Yeah, yeah, we do that again. Yeah. So you're using this yeah. to, to move um, to, to uh, combine two steps in one. The frequency is c over lambda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So this would be six point six three times ten to the negative thirty four times three times ten to the eighth. And what do I plug in for lambda? Uh, four hundred times ten to the negative nine. Yeah, that's the quickest way to deal with this. What does the, the symbol n really mean? N really means 10 to the negative 9. So the quickest way to do this, the conversion is when you're given nanometers, just erase the N and replace it with 10 to the negative 9. Oh, okay. You can always just erase the N and replace it with 10 to the negative 9, and then we don't have to do such a complicated right. uh, conversion. So um, this will be 400. Nano means 10 to the negative 9. Meters. Okay, so we can work that out. On the other hand, if you're getting confused about a unit conversion, it's always best just to go back to the basics of, of writing out the full unit conversion. Okay, so what did you guys get for the energy? 4.97 times. That'll be in joules because that's energy, so that's the original incoming photon. Good. So, wait, I'm confused. Is it joules seconds or just joules? No. H is joules seconds, but energy is just joules. Or kilojoules. But. Yeah. Oh, First wait, of all. crossed out because it was. No, why, why did we get rid of the second one? Yeah. First of all, oh, yeah. we know that we're figuring out energy, right? So it has to be in joules because joules, energy is in joules. I was just skipping stuff by not even writing down the units, but what are the units? It's C well, is meters per second, so This is out. joules times seconds, and this is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And this, what was this? Um, meter. Meters. So the meters cancel, the seconds cancel, and we do get joules. That's right. Um, so it, it's a good habit to try to put all the units in. On the other hand, if all of your inputs are in standard units, then you know that the output must come out in standard units. Right. So even if we can't see how the units cancel, we know it has to cancel out to joules. But it, it's, good, it's good algebra practice to actually plug all the units in and see that they're canceling. Um, doesn't one of our formulas need kilojoules or no? Uh, none of the formulas that we've used so far needs no, kilojoules. Does one half mv squared or no? No, that, um, that one doesn't need kilojoules. Uh, I don't, uh, there's none that need kilojoules. Yeah, I think there was one. There was one, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't remember which one, though. Glancing at this uh, cheat sheet. No, it was joules equals kilograms, that's what it was. Oh. Yeah, so the standard unit for mass is not grams, but yeah. kilograms. Okay. So, so you always have to use kilograms, not grams, if you want to the standard units. Okay. But the standard units for energy are joules, not kilojoules. Okay. So now we can go to um, one half mv squared equals h nu minus work function to solve for the work function. Yeah. Minus h nu. No, it's the it's the other. 
equation we have. Well, wait, minus this, minus y minus No, no, no. It's E kinetic of the electron, which is one half mv squared. Yeah, that sounds good. But let's try to get a little more intuition, though, for what we're doing. Okay. The electrons are emitted with this velocity. So how would we figure out how much energy they're emitted with? How can we figure yeah. out the energy of these electrons? I thought you could do one times the squared, but you don't have the mass, so you're just going to use the Yeah, you, the eight, you would be given the mass. Because it's an electron, and so the mass of an electron is just oh, a very constant. Times 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 okay. Okay. Negative. So then, yeah, I guess you could solve for um, V, and you'd get V equals root 2 V over M. It's get, we're given V, though. Yeah, so let's actually work that out. Yeah. So let's actually figure out the energy of these electrons. So the energy of the electrons is given by 1 half mv squared. Um, well, you can look up the mass of the electron. 9.11. times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms, and we were given V, 2.65 times 10 to the fifth, and we need to square that. So we can use this to figure out the kinetic energy of the electrons. Tell me what you get for that. Point, basically 3.2 times 10 to the negative 20. Good. And what units must that be in? Um, joules. Right. I'm not even bothering here to plug in the units. I just know that since I'm putting in things in standard units, the answer must come out in standard units. So we know this must have come out in standard units of 3.2 times 10 to the negative 20. Okay, so um, what do we have to do now to figure out the work function, just based on common sense? Um, what, what does the work function mean? Well, you, so you, so you In words, what is the work function? Minus the kinetic energy. Yeah. Well, what does the work function tell you about the gadolinium? It's like the threshold. It, it, it's a threat, minimum it's amount of energy yeah. it needs for it to get excited. To or remove an electron. Right. Yeah. So the basic idea of this photoelectric effect is we're shooting a photon carrying energy at the gadolinium metal. And then if it has enough energy, it can pry an electron free. And the electron gets work moved out. And how much energy does it take to free the electron? Well, that is the, the work, function. work function. Which is equal to... Um, and we can just see here, this went in. How much energy did this lose? Well, it lost the energy that was required in the work function to pry the electron free. And this was how much was left over for the kinetic energy. So um, let's actually calculate then what the work function here must be. It's h nu minus e kinetic, right? That's right, but um, did, we're trying to get a little bit more common sense here. We can just combine these numbers here. You so, add them? Well, yeah, what, what would make sense? So I mean, sorry, you said, you said you know, check the... Yeah, this is coming in. It's going to lose this amount of energy, and this is the amount of energy that the uh, electron has when, it, when it's left. So we know that this plus this must add up to the original amount of energy. So it's, um, it's 4.65 times 10 to the negative 19. Yeah. Could I ask a question? Is what is what we're doing just moving like shells or are we ionizing right now? We're ionizing. So we're not just taking the electron from one shell to another shell, we're completely removing it from the uh, from the from the metal. So yeah, this is not just uh, promoting an electron to a different shell. So it looks like you guys uh, learned the formula that um, What was the formula that you were trying to use here? One half mv squared equals h nu minus work function. So, so basically you're using this formula. And I think it just is important to just have a little bit more intuition for what we're doing. This is the original energy of the photon. And the original energy of the photon is going to be split up into two jobs. First of all, some of that energy is going to be required 
uh, is going to be used up in work that it takes to remove the electron um, from the metal. And whatever energy is left over is going to go into the kinetic energy of the electron. And then you could subtract, uh, subtract this C h nu minus 1 half mv squared equals the work function. But this is so much common sense, you shouldn't really have to look up this formula. You should just be able to make a picture like this and see yeah. this, this is the energy that's coming in, and it's going to be split between doing this job and doing this job. Okay. Okay.